hello guys welcome back to our channel we are so excited to have you again the protest seems not to end yesterday in the evening leki toge there was present on worship night by the protesters as they keep insisting that the federal government should end even the newly created uh, SWAT, which is supposedly meant for to replace the uh, defunct um, special anti-robbery squad SARS. But guess what? It's still ongoing right now and they are marching straight to a very uh, important place of significance. You know, I'm talking about the National Assembly. The protesters are now taking a move there. According to the information gathered, protesters against police brutality and extrajudicial killing have taken their demands to the National Assembly complex in Abuja, the nation's capital. The protesters in their numbers stormed the complex displaying placa lamenting extrajudicial killings and demanding justice for victims of police brutality. They sang songs of solidarity and chanted N SWAT, N SWAT. Security agents can, however, be seen forming a barricade at the entrance to the National Assembly complex. Thousands of protesters across the country have been protesting in the last one week against the harassment, extortion, and extrajudicial killings perpetuated by the special anti robbery squad of Nigerian police force. The police authorities, in response to the outcry of the protesters, disbanded the unit and announced the setting up of the Special Weapon and Tactics Unit SWAT as its replacement. But the protest and demonstration continued nationwide with hashtag and SWAT and police brutality dominating the train. But guess what? It's not just ending there. Um, Nigerians are also feeling betrayed, especially by um, the government of Lagos State because of what has happened in um, yesterday and what is also happening currently. I'm talking about uh, unleashing um, talks with weapons against the protesters. This morning, the video that is trending, just because of some of the violent stuff, I saw them holding women. We may not like to show you the video, but in the video, I saw they, they were these long buses in Lagos that dropped these guys off and they come, came out of the buses with the intention of harming the protesters. The uh, protesters were seen running for the idea lab. And guess what? This is absolutely wrong because uh, you're trying to is the problem but you are messing it up that's not the way to solve the problem you know the ideal way to solve it is meeting up with the need this protest whether you like it or not cannot last till the end of this month that that's sure it can last but what the people want to see frantic effort by the government they want a step taken by the government towards solving the problem that they are talking about Globally, it's been realized that uh, in the area of security, the government has been failing. So the duty of the government as at this point is to rebrand their image by ensuring that their words become their born. That's what the people want to see. Now, this issue of reform we're talking about is dated back to 2012. I'm telling you. There were promises that they are going to reform police and the promises kept on growing, growing from one regime to the other. Jonathan couldn't do it. Buhari came on board, still struggled here and there. And the people are saying, man, we are tired and we cannot continue like this. If you must have or if we must end this whole stuff, there must be adequate proof pointing to the fact that uh, uh, w w this issue of uh, answers will be a thing of the past or this issue of uh, police brutality because right now SARS has been ended but the people are talking about police brutality which is one of the most commonest thing I, I don't think there are nigerians who at least have not seen this thing happen to even if it has not happened to you someone very close to you may have suffered in the hands of this brutal police so that's what Nigerians are 
asking for for you to go and begin to you know bring up uh, uh, all manner of people armed talks to come and uh, you know trouble the protesters you're messing it up let's look at what some very key persons in uh, the social media have to say macaroni one of those who have uh, been in the front line of this protest demanding for the liberation of the youth who are the futures of future of nigeria and ending this police brutality came up speaking about the same issue of talks being released against the protester and according to him he said imagine armed talks being conveyed in a government-owned bus to injure and possibly kill peaceful protesters the world must know that the lives of nigerian youth are in great danger at jide sanwolu we will never forget hashtag n sas hashtag n swat Hashtag end police brutality in Nigeria. He went forward again to say, Mr. Governor, Jide Sanwo, you, you said that we were free to protest peacefully and that no harm will come to us. Now look at what is happening right in your territory. It's hap it happened yesterday. It is happening today. We have been attacked. Kudos, sir. Hashtag end SARS end police brutality in Nigeria. He added another one some hours ago. He said the government does little or nothing to better the lives of youth in this country. Nigerian youth struggle day after day to earn a living by themselves. We do everything by ourselves. Yet you people slaughter and murder us unprovoked. Never again. In SAS, in SWAT. Other people have also spoken up, especially concerning the recent step taken by the government, um, uh, taken by some persons. I don't know if it's actually the government of Lagos State that is behind these talks, guys, coming in, but Nigerians have condemned this. I feel that we should look into the nitty gritty of the demands of Nigerians. One of them is that even the police themselves need to be reformed if uh, 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 salary-wise. How can you be paying someone who is protecting protecting our lives and property very little money and you hand over to his hands weapon of mass destruction you give him a gun to handle when he knows that with gun and with intimidation with the gun or of the gun i can make some money why wouldn't they someone earning a married man earning forty thousand fifty thousand who are lawmakers they are earning in millions at least they should start improving their salary by the time they notice that their salary is almost in sync with that of uh, oil company staffs and all of that decorum naturally will come in responsible people will be involved in this so-called security issues we should stop paying them stipend go to united states other international or uh, countries of the world who value the life of their citizen they don't pay their their, their security guys stipend they pay them good money let their salary be reviewed once again so that at least when you think of losing your job and you know and losing that fat salary you will enter mental reset immediately even people around you will tell you don't even try that and you'll notice that the whole system will be reformed professionalism will come into play and you see everything we will see a lot of maturity there won't be any form of extortion again there won't be any act that is inimical to the people of nigeria that's one of the things we must look into now they are going to national assembly and guess what they are going there to let them realize that we are tired of what ever that is ongoing yes the federal government has you know talked about they have spoken of uh, fixing the uh, issue of uh, sars with swat and all of that for me i think that was quite untimely coming in as at that time was not good enough for nigerian people because it's an indication that you don't you are not even listening to what we are saying let the things be done let things be done gradually at least i know that right now it's just to set up uh, a unit that will at the, they will be working at emergency you know uh, they, they will be controlling their face but right now the sitting up of any unit is not important let's first of all fix this issue that is staring at our face nigerians who want to watch some of these very uh, brut brutal sars uh, uh, unit members being kicked out of the force being penalized the general want to see long list of people who have for for one way or the other been brutalized by police being compensated nigerians want a situation whereby the salary structure of police is being fixed 
a short period of time, all of that can be done. As at that short period of time, we'll keep a particular set of persons who will be handling any issue of criminality uh, in Nigeria. But setting up another group to take over from SAS is questionable. You're trying to, the people are telling you, we well, don't like this, and you replace it immediately with something else which they do not even trust. The people who were in the other unit, where are you going to kick them to? Certainly, most of them will be part of this uh, SWAT. We want to see them go through the eyes of the law and we now know that the leftovers are actually people who are responsible i know that a lot of them are responsible but nigeria won't want the government filter out the responsible one the ones that have done us wrong we want to see them nail and then we begin to see some very clear cut uh, reforms taking place. How can a police officer be going out to hunt criminal without his clothing on? He will just go with mufti, with gun around terrorizing. We do not even know which one is police, which one is not police. These are some of the things. Let's handle it once and for all and see ourselves flying. That's where I like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Let us interact. Do you think that the continuous protest by Nigerian citizen is a good one? And also releasing uh, talks against Nigerians. Do you think is a, a, a right step in the right direction. Let's interact.